The World Cup will be played in the subcontinent and we've uh, Probably one of the teams that's travelled over there really well the last few times we've been. We've, we've played really well, whether it be Test cricket or One Day cricket over there. So there'll be no excuses for us. We'll be well prepared for, for whatever whatever comes up over there. Spin bowling, of course, will be massive. How much difference will it make that it's on the subcontinent? It will play a part, I'm sure, in the World Cup. But um, you know, through India in, in particular, I think there's a lot made of how much the wickets turn over there and how slow they are. But the One Day wickets are probably the best that you're playing in the world. You see some of the scores that are made these days and. In India, you know, 350 is, is a sort of pass or to score, so spin will play a big part. The wickets are a lot different to, obviously, Australia and here in England. Um, you know, I think it's important, though, it doesn't matter where you're playing, to you get as much international one-day cricket under your belt as possible. And then, uh, again, all the guys have, have played some form of cricket in, uh, in India, so they've experienced those conditions. And then it'll be about making sure we pick the right squad to get over there and do our best. And the build-up is truly underway. Where do you think you need to, Australia as a team need to improve if you're going to retain the world title? Oh, I think we just need to keep playing together as much as possible. I think we've had a few injuries of late, so hopefully we can get as many players back as possible and you know get out there and play as a team. I think we've got a lot of talent, uh, in, not just in the squad here, but back at home as well. Um, it's about getting guys fit and keeping them on the park now for what's going to be firstly a great summer um, against England back in Australia, but then also you know a wonderful World Cup that hopefully we can retain. Yeah, look, we've only toured India once. You know, in the One Day Arena, and yeah, look, obviously they're great players of spin, so it's a good challenge. But uh, the wickets are very, very conducive to spin. So, like in that subcontinent area, I think it'd be a, a great place. And you know, any spinner over there will, will be pretty hard to face, I reckon. And having not played in 2007, how much does that motivate you that you know that this great team's won? How much does that motivate you to do it yourself? Oh yeah, you know, look, it'd be great to be part of it. You know, I don't, I don't think I need any more motivation than the fact that I'm playing for my country. Uh, Look, you know, this side, they've won three in a row and look, it's been fantastic. But at the end of the day, you know, anything can happen on any given day. No matter who you are, I think in, in an international team, you know, especially probably the Australian team, there's, there's always expectation and pressure on everyone. Um, there's no point putting any more pressure on yourself because there's enough out there and there's a lot of pressure in all the games as well. So you know, I'll just be trying to do my thing and try and play my game. There's a lot of talk about how 2020's changed test cricket. What, how do you think it's changed the style of 50 over cricket? Oh, I don't know. I think probably standards have improved a bit again. Uh, the fielding standards would have definitely gone up. <clears throat> uh, a lot more athleticism around the field. I think the bowlers are becoming a lot more, uh, a lot smarter in executing sort of different deliveries like slow ball bounces and good yorkers and directing their balls a lot better. And, and probably batsmen are becoming more innovative as well with a lot more sweeps and reverse sweeps and laps and, and things like that. So um, I think it's only going to improve the game, um, the skills of the players as well.